Hey everybody, Sharif Hyshak and Metairie with your sports. The Saints have now completed eight training camp practices and practice number eight saw two very much needed faces return to practice. That would be safety Marcus Williams and running back Latavius Murray. They actually returned to Friday's practice after missing a few practices earlier this week. They worked off to the side, but they returned to this practice working with the team. It's good to have guys like that, you know, get back out after the rehab. Uh, both of them should be pretty pretty healthy you know I'm sure there's a lot of soreness right now with a, with a number of players but um, no uh, I, I thought again today's practice was more of a red zone emphasis and there's a big time emphasis for Sean Payton and company to find a number three running back behind both Murray and Alvin Kamara and that guy could be Dwayne Washington the fourth year running back out of Washington coach Payton has complimented Washington quite a few times and something like that really helps Washington's confidence I'm going to always, you know, bet on myself, but at the end of the day, I just got to keep on working. You know, coach can say this, say that, but at, but at the end of the day, I just got to keep on working and, you know, uh, keep my head in the books and, you know, like just give them something to talk about every day. And every day, Washington tries to improve his game. Actually, that's something he started doing this offseason. Really just focus on my hands and, you know, like just focus on my running style, which is always just being that back that's like slow to fast through. And uh, I just really worked on that this offseason just along with just being comfortable catching the ball out the backfield and, you know, well, just obviously like keeping my strength going and uh, things of that nature. And for the running backs to get loose, obviously the offensive line has to do its part. And one guy along that line is Cameron Tom. He is entrenched in a battle at center with Nick Easton and rookie Eric McCoy. Tom actually is very complimentary of the rookie. Picks up the offense pretty well. Um, it's pretty athletic as well, so you know he's a uh, pretty good center. And um, you know that's one thing you need is uh, one thing this offense is athletic and smart. So you know coming to college, I think I think uh, me personally, uh, I was a little, uh, I probably needed more work, but he came in, he came in ready, you know, ready to come in, you know, play with uh, Drew and the ones and stuff like that. All right, how about your plays of the day? We start with 11 on 11 team drills. Teddy Bridgewater launching it down the field and Simi Combs beating the secondary and he strolls in for the touchdown. Let's stay with the offense. This time it's Taysom Hill. He launches it down the field and guess what? Cyril Grayson goes up to get it, making a nice catch and getting two feet in for the reception. Drew Brees getting in on all the fun. Brees with a nice clean pocket and he puts it up in the air and it's the second year receiver from UCF. Traquan Smith coming down with the ball and finds a nice path down the sideline. The final play, goal line seven on seven drills. Bridgewater going for the end zone, but he is picked off by rookie defensive back Saquon Hampton. How about some college football as we move up the road to Baton Rouge as the LSU Tigers continue their fall practice with practice number two. And while the Saints rely on their number nine to produce some offense, let's just say the LSU Tigers are going to have to really rely on their number nine to put up some points. And that's Joe Burrow and Clyde edwards Elair. Their running back says Burrow really knows how to take charge of that offense. He just has something about him that makes everyone – listen and when he, when he steps on the field as soon as he steps on the field he's running and everybody wants to to follow his lead so i mean when, when you have a guy like that um naturally everybody like gravitates towards the things that he he needs done in order to have an offense ran and and, and ultimately have a team come together and, and do what we need to do all right back to the black and gold practice number nine sunday night under the lights at yeoman stadium on two lanes campus no tickets needed to come to that practice that practice will get going around 7 o'clock. In Metairie, Sharif Ayshak, WDSU News.